Customer states, my machine will not move and the blade will not go up or down. Let's get into it. All right, got the truck in place just to make sure I could reach it with the crane. This is definitely one of those jobs where we're gonna have to get done before we go home because we're stuck. All right, so the brother actually came earlier in the week and troubleshot this thing. Check charge pressure, it had none. He actually went as far as to pull one of the lines off the pump, front pump, and see if it's putting any flow out and just nothing at all coming out of it. So we believe we've got a strip coupler. All right, so all these little D5Ks, um, early D6Ks, K2s, um, along with your D5, D6Gs, they all have a like a plastic coupler between the engine and the pumps. Um, and they go out from time to time. They're just a set of teeth and they'll strip. Um, I'll show you guys when we get in there. Hopefully we're right. But uh, anyway, to get to it, you can either pull the pumps off or pull the engine out. And it is way easier in this case to pull the engine out than it is to try and slide the pumps out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna snatch the engine out. All right, to get the engine out, a few things have to happen. Hood's gotta come off. I'm pretty certain we can leave the hard nose and radiator in there and slide this engine out, but I don't hook coolant lines, I don't hook pump lines. And yes, this is implement pump, but get this charge pressure from the main high step pump back here. It's got a section somewhere in it that builds uh, charge pressure and the implement pump, um, you know, it moves the blade up and down, uh, but it's gotta have charge pressure to actually move the spools inside the control valve to make that function work. So that's why that pump can be spinning just fine off the front gear train and you still don't have any hydraulic power. All right, on the other side of the engine, um, we're gonna pull the exhaust at the turbo or at the back pressure valve, lift all that off with a hood. We are going to pull the compressor off and lay it to the side so that we don't have to evac the whole system. We're gonna unhook all the wiring from the starter. There's two, I think it's hydraulic cooler lines down there we're gonna leave in place, I think. Um, essentially when we pull this thing, we're going to pull the bell housing bolts and the pump, like the rear mounts for the engine is actually on that pump housing plate. So we can leave the pumps just kind of hanging, um, pull these front mount plates and then slide the engine forward enough to get it uncoupled. And hopefully it comes straight up. So, all right, we got the hood set off there. Now we get to start unhooking everything else. This thing sets off as one whole piece with the DPF, air filter and everything. All right, I was going to pop that uh, big line on that little pump, but it's making quite a mess. So I'm going to step back and hook up a, I call it a transducer. It's actually, it makes a vacuum on the hydraulic tank so we can pull that without making a huge mess. All right, we've just about got everything unhooked and out of the way. I'm um, getting most of the bolts broke loose from the backside where that pump plate mounts to the bell housing. So we're fixing to hook up to it with the crane and see if we can get it out of there. So I feel like up close doesn't really give justice to how much of an angle this dozer's on and how much of a bind I had to put the truck in just to get to it. And it's muddy. So hope we don't run into any headaches or stumbles because we have absolutely got to fix this thing to get out of here. Still doesn't do it justice. <laughs> how much of an angle the old dozer's tipped down. Definitely put the outrigger out in this mess. Took an old dozer pad I had and stuck under the outrigger. Hopefully to keep us on solid ground. All right, I got the engine started to come out. I can already see that the hub that's supposed to be on that shaft is just not there, which means it slid out in the other half. Let me get you guys back in here. This tells me that it just slid on the splines and slid inside that coupler. So the coupler didn't actually strip. Just the inner collar slid too far in. So there it is. You can tell that's been beating around a little bit in there. It looks like that's the face of it. it looks like that's been riding against the flywheel um, for a little bit of time anyway. So we've got these two new pieces here. And since this one's a little beat up, and I think we're just gonna go ahead and replace the pair of them. All right, my bet is that somebody didn't torque those two set screws like they were supposed to. If you look, they go in there and they actually hold that, uh, hold those splines against the shaft. So we'll go back and torque those like we're supposed to. So this is actually the updated hub style. The old style had like, I don't know, probably a hundred little teeth that just engaged, looked like a, just a regular gear. And the small teeth were a lot more prone to strip out. So I was glad to see the updated hub in this one, but I was kind of scared at first. Um, but when I seen that that joker, basically what it done is, is that sits in there just like that. And I had to come all the way through it and we're just sitting up against the flywheel spinning. So when it doesn't engage, it can't turn the pumps.
All right, I've got the old plate out and you can actually see where this piece has been spinning around on it. So we've got evidence this was our failure. All right, guys, I got a little field service cuisine for you today. Sometimes you get to go out, you know, and eat on town, whatever it may be. Um, today, we're stuck on a job site. I knew I was going to be here all day, so pack me some good old viney weenies. But I got a trick for y'all today. The hardest thing about these things is always just getting your hands down in there and digging them out. Well, you combine that with some Fritos Twitchies. You just take it and just corkscrew it on in there. And look at there, you got a meal on a stick. Comes the viney weenies. That bourbon barbecue is where it's at. All right, we got the new piece on there. We got the new plate on there and torqued. Both of them are torqued. Um, I don't really like that. <laughs> Shaft's a little bit short, but I mean, it's where it's supposed to be. Uh, anyway, I can see why if it gets loose, it'll definitely come out of there. So we'll say on the older dozers that had the old style coupler, like the bunch of little teeth, we put a bunch of those in. I mean, they would fail all the time and finally Cat come up with an update. And usually the updates don't fail, so. So now we're gonna set the engine back in the hole. Almost got it back in the hole, but there's a good chance we're about to get rained on. All right, it rained just long enough to get everything good and muddy and nasty again. It's about right. All right, the engine's back in the hole. I had to use two really long bolts, kind of stick through the um, pump plate and thread into the bell housing so it kind of get in line and actually had a crane hanging and used a come along and put a little tension on it backwards and I just spun the engine over until it lined up um, with the coupler and it slid right into place. Well, it didn't go that easy, but it sounds easy. So, all right, the dozer's going and the truck actually came out of the hole, but it went to the top of the hill and sat down in the mud. So, had to get pushed out anyway. Here we are getting pushed out by the dozer. Another satisfied customer. All right, it's late. We're headed home. It's been a been a good day. Been a productive day. It's always nice when a, you know you plan for a job and everything comes out the way it's supposed to. Doesn't always happen like that, but it sure is nice when it does. We've been blessed with an abundance of work lately, and uh, I just hope we can keep up this summer. But everything's going good. All right, we finally made it back home. That was a long day. You know, it's a long day when you got to change a shirt before you can even get back in the service truck. Uh, that usually that's not that bad of a job to do like in a shop but on the side of that hill and the rain it just it made for a, a fun long day uh i'm just happy and thankful to be doing it so i won't complain too much I'm glad we got it done uh as always thank you guys ah, thank you guys for tuning in and y'all have a good one nobody love y'all today good boy say bye y'all Somebody's not happy tonight. <laughs>